I'm sending this message to my Muslim brother. Let them go and read the Bible. Let them read Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. We tell them about Christ. The whole testament we tell them about Christ. Because like, like now, like the Muslim, they believe in the whole testament. But if you believe in the Old Testament, go to the book of Isaiah 9, verse 6 and read. Then I believe your life will change. That's Amen. a big advice from my own brothers and sisters and the Islam. We may look different and live in different countries, yet our stories are knitted with the same threads of excitement, uncertainties, challenges, and victories. As we journey through the ups and downs of life, it is our undeniable will and God's strength that propel us to joy after pain, smile after frowns, and ups after downs. We were born to win. We were destined to greatness. We are overcomers. Welcome to God's Scoops, Raw and Unedited Stories. Welcome to Raw and Unedited Stories on God's Scoop. Today with us is a man all the way from Africa, and I'm going to allow him to introduce himself. Welcome, Santos. You're welcome. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, good afternoon from my home side here, my own country. Um, Santos Kurma from Sierra Leone. <laughs> a Sierra Leone, a young man. <laughs> yes, Santos, yeah. I'm so happy you're yes. here to share with our God Scoop community your story. And so, what I'm going to do right now is just let you begin to talk to us about. Uh, the story that God has really delivered you from, so our audience can be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'm I'm Santos from Sierra Leone. Just like I started. Um. I was a Muslim. I was a Muslim. I grew up as a Muslim for a very long time. But as time goes, and uh, I was going Dawa, whatever to call Dawa and the and the Islam, what to call Dawa, like people that are going to do evangelism, go to preach the word of God, preaching Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad, you know? Yeah, but there was a time, at a time I'm from the mock from the masjid, I come to my house, sleeping on bed, we're having different dreams different vision different vision about jesus about jesus about jesus i say what i say what is going on is this something true is, is this something better i said no i said no ah, this is something fake but i didn't believe every time i was, I was in the mocks and the masjid i've prayed for like what to call a walk to like you pray like two you pray like four seven and eight like i was in the masjid in the mosque like by four four mm -hmm. four in the evening hour you have to pray and then yeah i sleep but i got to dream again it's all about christ it's all about christ i say what what is going wow. on is this true yeah it's okay i don't believe this thing but i believe if, if it's the will of god then it will manifest someday then it happened one time i was home i was listening i was listening to a radio an islamic radio I was preaching about about the birth of um the birth of jesus christ and the birth of um prophet muhammad then i came to realize something i said wow there's something greater something different i said why is this person somehow greater than this other person i said okay let me pray. God chose the way for me. If there's a way where I am now, then let it be. If there's not a way there, you can speak to me. Move me to the right path. Then I got a vision. A vision that I got that I was going for for lecturing. I was going for lecturing. Yeah. That time I was in a university. But on my way going, uh, I saw an old man and he called me. Santos. Then I turn around. I say, yeah. I 
I said, how are you? He says, fine. He said, where are you going? I said, I'm heading for class. I'm going to, I'm going to the university for lecture. I said, wow. So, okay, Santos. I said, you need to go to Pastor Mambu. He said, go there. I started worshiping there. I said, what do you mean? He said, go to Pastor Mambu. Uh, we have a pastor here in Sierra Leone called Pastor Mambu. Pastor Francis A. Mambu. As a overseer for the Faith and Bible Church. He said, go there and start to worship there. there. You will see big things. Your life will change. I said, wow. I said, okay. Yeah, so what I did, what I did, I continued my work. Then on my way going again, then I saw like three young men, they wear a gown, like, you know, like the Muslim gowns, mm -hmm. this gown that they used to go to the, the Mecca and perform pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. Three of them. Yeah. And uh, I passed, and the young man called me. I said, gentleman, anyway, we are waiting on you. Come. He said, I'm telling you, he said, look up the sky. Then I raised up my head. The one I saw of the sky, I saw like something like a statue, like a face, like your face, face on the sky. Mm -hmm. That young man face and my own face, face on the sky. I said, yeah, what is going there? Then I saw the sky, the, the, the cloud is, is running with blood, blood running from the sky. I said, wow, my God, I said, what is going on? Santos, then the, let, me yes. let me interject. Yes. This, this was a part of the dream, correct? Yeah, part of my dream. Yeah, part of my dream. Yes. I'm explaining okay. part of my dream. Yes. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. And they told, and they told me that um, the only person that they, they are waiting for is Anabi Hisa. We have to call Anabi Hisa in the, Islamic, in the Islamic version, which is called Jesus Christ. He said, we're waiting for Anabi Hisa to come and judge the world. I said, what? He said, yeah. I said, one that has to judge the world, he has to come. Then I wake up. When I wake up, I prayed. I said, well, what is going on? Then from there, what I decide, I said, okay, there is a crusade held by Pastor Francis A. Mambu. I said, I want to go this crusade. Having my entire family, cousin, brothers, and other family relatives, they were shocked. I just wake up and said, I want to go to this place. But I was not with cash. But I have what to call a modem. I bought this modem a few months ago that is 425000 that I decided to dispose it. I sold it for just at least one, one, 100000 just to get transportation to go there, like, like you auction something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I did, just to get transportation to go there to go and see this Pastor Mambo. Who is it, Pastor Mambo? Mm -hmm. And I used a little cash. I paid transport, go there for just five days. Mm -hmm. and, that, and, and that five days then, I was blessed. Then from there, I started going to church. Then my family members said, what? You, you, you going to church? Is that true? They said, are you going? I said, yeah, yeah. I'm going to church. Oh, one of my aunties just shook her head like this way. I said, Santo, I don't believe you are going to church. I said, I'm going to church. I said, as from today, I am a Christian. I said, I'm no more God. going to the mosque again. I'm a Christian. I'm no more going there again anymore. So they won't believe in fact. They say, oh, this is not true. This is somehow fake. It was just that might be somebody invited him there, but nobody invited me. Nobody invited me to God and I'm worshiping. Nobody Santos, invited me. Santos, one nobody, second. Yeah, yes. Your family, they were Muslims as well. Yes, our family that are Muslim, but my father was a Christian. Okay. Yeah. Then when I came in that in that um, 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 Islamic home, mm -hmm. Islamic home, the most yeah, I go in the most way through my uncle, yeah, through my uncle. Yes. So yeah, as from that time I started going to church, I started d doing things and started seeing vision, dream, different things. Started praying for people. Like one time we have. We have uh, one of my cousins that he has to bury in the provinces, mm -hmm. right in the provinces. 
Right. So my family members, they thought that Osanto doesn't want to go there. Osanto is a proud man. I said, no. I said, I will go there. My elder brother came and said, I will provide transportation for you. I said, okay, no problem. I will go there. But I slept and I have to know how I, what God showed me on a, on a Jeep, like something like a, a blue Jeep. I was in a blue Jeep. We are going on the road. We got an accident. Mm-hmm. Then, then everybody died. The Jeep. Everybody died. I said, wow. I wake up. I call my brother. Up. I said, Brother Suleiman, like to, I'm not going to be part of this, this movement going to the provinces. I can't go there, but I don't know what the family will say. I can't go there. So what's the problem? I said, no, I've explained things to him. I forgot about this thing. This is rubbish. I said, oh my God. I said, this is not rubbish. I said, this is something God has exposed to me. Disclose this thing to me and this thing is going to manifest. I said, trust me, this is going to manifest. I won't go there. Ah, this is fake. This is fake. This is fake. This is rubbish. I said, okay. We have somebody within the community which um, a, uh, a whole woman I used to call her mom. Then I went to her place and then I explained. I said, Anta, yeah, this is what is going on, but I can I won't make it to go there. So wow, right. Santo. He said, he said, then what your family gonna say about you? He said, well, whatever they feel like, so let them see. But I won't go there. If I go there, they automatically I'm gonna have a problem. If I go there, then I will I will not return, I will die. See, sure, yeah. I said then I even gave an advice. I said there is a blue jeep. That is a blue jeep that will join, that will travel into this place. And some people, they were coming from overseas. I said, please, that jeep, please, you make sure you pray. Oh, don't use that jeep. Right. You use that jeep automatically, you go there, everybody will die. I said it openly, openly under the tree. So what I say? So ask what happened. On that day, I was not home, so I was on the campus by then. I got a call from my cousin, the travel. I got a, a, a call from my cousin. It's right in Afghanistan now, in one of these Arab countries. It's a living witness for me. Mm -hmm. Called me, he called me, hello, bro. What's up? How are you? I said, I'm fine, Didi. I said, how, how's it traveling? How's the provinces? I said, bro, suddenly thing, say we we have accident. I said, what happened? Say the jeep, the blue jeep, and my elder sister, what boyfriend, and the other one, husband, the driver, they all died on the same spot in Makini. Wow. wow. I said, what? He said everything, they, they all died on the same spot, and even the vehicle and, and even the vehicle has gone beyond repair. I said, what? Wow. So what? Uh, so I uh, yeah, from that time, my family started studying me. So this young man, this this is not ordinary. As if he's playing, he's playing with something multi. Yeah, like we have something called multi, like some like this juju, something they do incantation, like people that are going to the man of the world, like what we call a Mori man. Mm -hmm. so this this man, this man is not ordinary. This man is not ordinary. This is playing with something like juju. I said no, this is not juju. This is something God is revealing to me. Mm -hmm. I said, but the fact that I've accepted Christ as personal Lord and Savior, and things started happening with me in a different way, I don't know, in a different way, having in a dream, praying for death body, mm -hmm. death body like people that are going, that are going to break someone right in a coffin, I would just call, hey, hey, put, Put that coffin down. The person is not died. They say, why everybody just turn around? I said, that person is not died. Put the coffin. They put everything down. Open the coffin. I open the coffin. I breathe on the person. I pray in the name of Christ. The person wake up. Everybody turn around. Look at me. I say, who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? Mm -hmm. Then several times, it has been happening with me, several times in my dream, mm -hmm. waking dead people, waking dead people, dead people, several times. Mm -hmm. praying for people here right so yeah from that time yeah my family they started observing me they started observing me how i'm doing my thing mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, now they see oh, oh Sandoz is going to church now effectively. Oh, Sandoz has finally changed. He's no more Muslim. So well. Praise so, God. So when we yeah, I thank God now, like my sisters and other family members. Um, I'm a living testimony to them. They are not Christian, so I give God the glory. Praise Santa, all adoration. Praise yeah. God. Santos, I thank you for sharing yeah. a dynamic testimony. Right? And so, yeah. what I, how long have you been a Christian? How long has this been? Well, um, this is um, like 20, 18. It's more than seven years now. Praise God. And you have seen yeah, so much God. miracles. You have seen so much miracles uh, happen right in front of you. How do you feel now as a Christian you, with all that God has done for you? How do you feel? Well, I'm feeling good. It's like I believe strongly that I'm right on the safer side. On the safer side. So, yeah. So, I'm on the safer side. 100%, I believe. The God that I'm following, the God that I'm serving, the one that I'm following, yes. one hundred percent. Praise God! And God called you out deliberately by Himself. That's what I'm Himself. hearing from you. Exactly. From your testimony, that's what I am hearing. So tell us: Has any of your family members become a, 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 a any of them become a, a become a, a Christian or have been drawn to your faith? He, 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 yes, even my 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 elder brother, his name is Suleiman, is now going to church now, like way how he was living before. He was living a wretched life, smoking, marijuana, drinking alcohol, taking drugs, like different type of drugs that are damaging the young people these days. Mm -hmm. But now, if God the glory by lecturing him, talking to him. You know, preaching the word to him has finally changed because the way he also see my life going there automatically say, Oh my brother, mm -hmm. I was a Muslim, I was going to Dawa, going how many days, coming back home, but now it's finally changed to this way. So I'm gonna follow my brother. I know where I where he's going is the right path. Anyway, but I thank God for my family now. Yes. They are Christians, never mind some, some relatives, they are still Muslim. Right, but right. My own, in my blood, yeah, I thank God for them now. They are going to church, my brother and sisters, they are going. Only then, only one person in my, in my family, but yeah, she died. She died. That mm -hmm. was my, that, that was my elder sister, the one, that, yeah, my elder sister, his name is Maria too. But, mm -hmm. She died almost one year ago now. Mm -hmm. That one, the time when I converted to a Christian, you know what she told me? She said, okay, so we are in a fight. See, you and her, we are in a fight. I said, what's the fight? She said, fact that, fact that you have your Jesus, then I have my own multi, they will see mm -hmm. who's going to leave the world. But mm -hmm. today, yeah, she died. Mm -hmm. She tried me, tried me spiritually, fighting me in my dream, but I conquered him. And the very day that I conquered him, when I wake up, I called. I have been called, I have been called, even Bannis, I called Bannis, and then I even explained to Bannis, yeah, this is my sister. I explained everything. I said, this, she's going to die. I said, she's going to die. So my sister's going to die. So because I did deliverance, deliverance with Pastor Chris. Pastor Chris in my dream, deliverance Pastor Chris in my dream. And he told me that my sister is going to die. And in my own dream again, she was, she was fighting me. Mm -hmm. Then I conquered him. I, I conquered her, then she died in the dream. Then I explained, I said, this, she's going to die. No way for her. And she died. Wretched. Santa, I'm so, sorry. I thank, I thank God for my life, praise God. Yes, I'm sorry to hear about your sister and... Uh, I see the power of God manifesting in your walk and I see a special calling upon your life based on the testimony that you have shared. Did you receive any threat from the Muslim community after you became converted? 
yeah, they were rejecting me uh, up to this time. Like, I have friends that, yeah, that went to the same university. I'm um, mm. schooling, grew up in, in, in their own doctrine. And they said, um, I'm a deficit, you know, accounted time, like a loss. Mm -hmm. so I'm a loss. We, we have to cause it losses. You see, oh, you now losses. See, you, 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 you've become totally deficit, totally lost. Mm -hmm. Lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said, yeah, they said I'm lost. So um, I'm following the wrong path. Right. See what? Mm -hmm. See, I'm following the wrong path. Okay. So, sorry, I'm getting called, but let me just reject this call. Yes. Okay, Santos. Um, yeah. So my question is, do you have anything to share with our God School community um, based on just your work and the, the goodness of God in your life? What do you have to say to our God School community? <laughs> I'm saying to the God, the God School community that... Um, I'm very more happy for my life today than I'm advising the young people also, let them come to the saving knowledge of Christ. And, uh, you know, those are big testimony for me. It's like, the, it's filled my mouth, actually, even though I was not even expecting this thing. But this is the first time of interviewed me, yeah, you know, it was a shock, but yeah, never mind. So, <laughs> yes. uh, I really appreciate. I really, I really appreciate. I really appreciate everything done. Yes. Um. Do you have any message for your Muslim brothers and sisters who are not understanding your new faith? Oh yes. Oh yes. A big message for them. A big message for them. Um. The, the, I'm sent. I'm no more dear, but I'm advising you, go and read the Bible, please. I'm begging you because I want you to come to receive the knowledge of Christ so that you receive him, you will be with Christ in heaven. Amen. Well, Santos, Amen. so thank yeah. you for coming to Raw and Unedited Stories on God's School to share your testimony and your dynamic conversion experience. And we just want to before you leave, before we close this session, anything that you have to say to any anybody, anything that you want to say, and before we close this session. Well, uh, um, I'm talking to you directly, Pat. I yes. thank you. Yeah, God bless you for this session. Yes. God bless you for this wonderful session. Then. May God continue to bless you all there in the studio. And uh, may God give you wisdom and understanding to go about your work there. Yeah. May your life fill with joy and peace. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank God you for the you. blessing. And thank you too. <laughs> and to our God's community. Thank yeah. you for joining raw and unedited stories i am patricia daly your host and i encourage you to subscribe and thank you for those subscribers who have joined us in our early journey on god's scope thank you and remember to like and share and have a phenomenal day <laughs>